You know the best thing about the movies? You don't like the ending? You can always go back to the good parts. Mike Wilcox told me that. <laughs> Poor bastard. Life ain't like the movies. You don't like the ending? Tough shit. The Ellington. Opened her doors in 1942, back when movies were still something special. Even if things had changed by the time I started working there, it was still the best job I ever had. Get the right booking, you could still feel the old magic. It was back in 97, and me, Tommy Smith, and Mike Wilcox were running the show. Kate and Leo had lined him up out the door. We all loved the Ellington, but nobody more than Mike. He busted me and Tommy cutting class one day trying to sneak into a matinee. Didn't freak out at all. Instead, hired us on the spot. Ushers, then out of the candy bar, then the office. His two right hands, he used to call us. Back then, corporate used to call us the Mint. He said we'd never close. Even with all the new megaplexes they were opening up. The Ellington's doors would always be open. No matter what. Check it out. It's got pan and scan, and letterbox, plus special features. You know you want one. Hey, you listening? Yeah, sorry. Um, I'll think about it. What do you think's taking him so long? It's corporate. Always got some kind of bug up their ass. Relax. No, he should have been back by now. Box office opens in an hour. Hey guys. So what's the big news? Mike. They uh they're closing us. They can't close the island. They can't. It's their theater, man. They can do what they want. He's right. Just be glad they're not firing us. Fuck that. You want to work at some McMovie theater in the mall? No, but it's a job. Give it a chance, Tommy. As long as we stick together, right? No. You know what we should do? We should rob the place. Shut the Ellington down in style. <laughs> rob the Ellington. <laughs> I'm serious. Tommy. <laughs> Almost had you, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we could totally get away with it. Wait till closing, clean out the safes. Just open the safe, take all the money. Seems kind of obvious who took it, don't you think? Shit's insured. They won't even come looking. They never caught the guys that did the Palmetto. The Palmetto. Another casualty in the rise of the Megaplex. Corporate shut it down a year earlier, but not before somebody knocked it off. Rumor had it it was an inside job. Because whoever did it waited till all the money was off the floor and went straight for the safes. Safes. Plural. You see, there's two saves in a movie theater. And unless you worked in a theater, you'd never know the second one even existed. You ever try to make a bank run on a Saturday night? Not gonna happen. That's the second safe. The bank. Enough cash to cover a week's worth of sellout business. The guys who hit the Palmetto? They cleaned out both. Clean out the safes. I should have known what Tommy was getting at just from the look in his eyes. That's the trouble with friends. You only see what you want to see. Till it's too late.
I knew it was Mike and Tommy the second I opened the door. I told the cops what any friend would. Nothing. The Ellington never opened his doors again. Corvette was holding spots for us at a new Megaplex, the Crown 24. I knew it was time to move on. Mike and Tommy, I figured they were moving on too. Hey, you worked at the Ellington, didn't you? Marcus, the Crown. We were supposed to work together. Yeah, right. <sighs> Crazy, I went down at the Ellington. You really think Wilcox did it all alone? Mike, man. They're saying he did the Palmetto, too. You go to the funeral? What funeral? Mike's. Heart attack. Behind the Ellington. A corporate was getting rid of him anyways, but... Still. Shit, man. Didn't you know? No. Official story was Mike did the Ellington and the Palmetto. Cops went after Tommy pretty hard, but one of his girlfriends vouched for him, so they let him walk. Even offered them free passes to the movies. No hard feelings. As far as the cops were concerned, they had enough to call it a day. I mean, it was a movie theater robbery. They had better things to do. I don't know what really happened that night at the Ellington after I blacked out. But I do know Mike deserved better than what he got. And when times were good, the Ellington was the best job I ever had. That's the way I tell it anyway. Told it to myself so many times now, I almost believe it's true. But it's not. I was in on it from the start. The Palmetto was a test run. We barely got away with it. We knew the Ellington had to be smarter. I didn't want to bring Mike in on it. But Tommy knew he'd be game. Mike didn't love the Ellington. <laughs> he loved us. He'd have done anything that we asked. Tommy knew it. Huh? But I didn't. You got it all. You've done good. You've done good. When I finally figured it out, I wished I had it. Ready? Yeah. The plan was to meet up in two weeks and split the money. Only Mike never made it out of the alley. And I never saw Tommy again. After corporate shut it down, somebody bought the Ellington and turned it into an event space. Parties, weddings celebrations without the show. I'd never have known if my ex hadn't done an event there. Ben? Ben, what are you doing out here? I thought I told you to meet me inside. Uh, yeah, I'm good out here. Are you ready to go? You don't want to see it? No, I'm good. Look, we should really get going. But you love movies. Come on. Ben. Sorry. Isn't it amazing? It used to be an old movie theater. I saw Titanic here when it first came out. The line was so long we had to wait outside. Who does that anymore? I mean, really. What's wrong? Nothing. It uh, still smells like popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed so hard that day, I cried. At least, that's how I tell it.